Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to set up a membership website using WordPress Astra. All right, so for example, we have a uh, sporting goods shop here. And if we clicked on bicycles, we could see all of our products, basically our web shop here. But what if we wanted only logged in users uh, because we wanted to have their emails for newsletters or other purposes to be able to view or verified users to be able to view our products. So let's go ahead and head over to our dashboard and click on plugins and click on add new plugin and search member. And there's going to be a bunch of membership uh, plugins here. But the one that I like using, and you can see it's the one that's um, that's, it's very highly rated. We can also use this one, but this one's a bit nicer to use. So we'll use Ultimate Member. And we'll just install this and later activate it. Okay. And after this, it should appear on our sidebar here. And we have Ultimate Member here. So let's check out how to use it. Okay, so from here, we can see that we have um, caches, we have um, temp files, and then we have our users overview. So we can see how many users we have, how many approved. Um, one is the administrator, of course, it's me. And then two is a test I did earlier, just to double check the functionalities. And then we have uh, pending review, uh, inactive, uh, email confirmation rejected, and so on and so forth. And you should get a, a notification here to create the default pages. But since um, it's disabled uh, on this installation. Make sure to go down here on forms. Okay. And usually when you set it up and you have the notification, you can automatically create the default forms from there. But if we on settings, we can see here that um, pages, uh, these are basically the pages that we need for this to work. So we have the user page. So this is the profile, login page, registration page, members page, logout page, account page, so on and so forth. So make sure to click on create default on all of these. And it's going to create forms automatically for every single one of these. Okay. And I just have to make sure that we have one for each. Okay. All right. And then now we can go ahead and check out these other tabs here. So we have access and here, this is, this is the one that we want to use as an example today. So for global site access, the site is now accessible for everyone. So you don't have to log in to see the content. But now if we see, uh, click on this, site accessible to logged in users, um, the users, the customers must log in to be able to see our content. So we can check out um, custom redirect URL. So if someone does not have access, you can redirect them to your home page or front page. And we'll we can also toggle the accessibility of home page and category categories, and we will put this as our flavor text. Okay, and we can also put. Um, a description here, but we don't really have to. And then you can restrict and enable other um, areas here. Okay. So we'll just save that. And really, we just want to be able to prevent non -lo uh, logged out users or people who don't have accounts from seeing our website, just to keep things simple for this video. Okay, once that's saved, we can check out the other tabs. We can see emails, um, what we'll be sending them, appearance, and advanced, and 
there's a lot of things that you can talk, uh, play with here. And we can take a look at the registration form and we can customize how it looks like. And then this we can make it rather than register. And we'll just save that. And this is all stuff to customize yourself as you go on. But this video is meant as a just as an introduction to making a member website. And then next, we want to go over to forms and edit our default registration form. Okay. And usually, you can have more here, more fields. So if you wanted to put um, country, if you wanted to put their, if you required their Instagram, if you required their first and last name, you can add that here. And then uh, we can click on live preview and you can see, okay, to create uh, an account, I, am, I must enter a username, an email address, password, and I can choose a country and then my Instagram handle and then my first name, so on and so forth. But let's just keep this simple. We just want users' email addresses. So let's delete these and obviously a password. Okay, we'll delete that. Okay, and then we can also change the layout if you want uh, one column, two columns, three columns, and then so, uh, and then a, a few more rows if you want it. And then we can also customize uh, the settings here. So it's going to give a bunch of other options here, and we can also enable or disable the privacy policy if we have one. And we can just disable that right now, and we can click on update. Okay, and once that's done, we're not yet done there because if we opened our website to try and log in, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't update yet, so it would still have the other default ones. So let's go on to our register page here, click on edit. And it takes us to the block editor, make sure to click on update. Okay. Okay, so now that should be set up once we've already had uh, installed the plugin. So let's go ahead and, and configured our conditions here. So let's go ahead and, and move into a new browser where we're not logged in at all and see if it works. Okay, so we're here in a brand new browser and let's click on bicycles. And it tells us that we have to log in. So since we don't have an account yet, let's click on register. And you can see a while ago, we customized it to have only username, email address, and password. So let's make one. And and we'll just put a password real quick. And let's click on create account. Okay. Oh, they don't match. What's up with that? Okay, it was just a slight glitch. Now we have our profile over here, and then we can customize this if we wanted to, or you could remove certain blocks or elements from this from the plugin itself. So let's go ahead and go home. And just like normal, we can see our site here. But if you clicked on bicycles, it now reveals the catalog to us and we can now see the prices and the products themselves. So there's a very simple way of using Ultimate Member with your WordPress Astra site in order to create a membership website. If you want to see more videos about this, please leave a comment down below to ask us if you want to know more about the features. So if you did, Find this video helpful so far, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.